Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Mashiach, Kwamalak, Yahweh, Shai, man. I just want to say a mighty shalom to all the brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, that's doing their thing and it's truth, that's being steadfast, that's, that's fasting on a week, I mean, on a weekly basis, you know what I'm saying, that's actually keeping these laws, uh, law statutes, and commandments, doing their best, you know what I'm saying, uh, to please the Most High, man, the ones that's raising up their children in the way they should go, the ones that's keeping feast days, the ones that's are praying and prophesying to all the, the lost sheep that we see out in the world, man. And I just want to do a quick video today because the brother Gabriel the other day, he went in a video talking about this this sister man who can't <laughs> who can't help herself but keep on making these wild videos online just coming at us man coming at the israelites you know dissing her own people because she don't even realize she's an israelite she want to try to find every excuse you know to go contrary to the scriptures man even though the scriptures are plain people bringing it out left and right man men and women and children man bringing this thing out left and right going into details breaking down the scriptures all the time our people are are completely destroyed, man. <laughs> our people are completely destroyed. I'm going to actually start off with that one. That's going to be the first precept I, I go ahead and bring out, man. Because our people don't know what's going on. They don't know who they are in these last days. Book of uh, Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. It's a classic, man. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, and thou will also forget thy children. So this is actually, you know, like th this is our history. Like we all know that the so-called black people have been brought over to a country they didn't know, that we're sold unto the heathens, that we, uh, you know, have been taught everything contrary to the law, statutes, and commandments. That's the reason why our people love eating, uh, eating uh, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You know, and, and being labeled as delicacies, even though that those are the bottom feeders of the ocean. Those are the worst of the worst foods that we can be eating. And that's why they put the pork in everything and make our people want to continually do that. So when you celebrating Thanksgiving, you know, that, that we like to call it Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving, you know, where they came over here, they took a land where people was already dwelling and, and making their own food, making their own clothes. And you rape, robbed and murdered everybody. And now you celebrate it by eating damn ham. Eating the food that that is meant to be on the farm to clean up all the slop. A pig doesn't even doesn't even uh sweat, you know what I'm saying? So all the toxins that the pig consumes, it holds it in. And then you you sit here and eat it because you put some damn glaze on it and you put the pineapple on top and you put it in the oven and you think it's good now, man. And you pray over it. The Lord's gonna destroy you for that, man. Let's go back into the law right quick. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, Salakia. 32 and 18. Salakia, 28. For they are a nation void of counsel. Neither is there any understanding in them. And that's our people, man. He said, we've been destroyed. He said, we're a nation that's void of counsel. So when people are actually trying to tell you the way that you should go, try to correct you, try to rebuke you, try to reprove you. But you know what I'm saying? That that rebuke is not always a bad thing. You know, we like look at it being like, dang, you talking down on me. But it's like, no, I'm actually trying to build you up. I'm trying to make you a better person. I'm trying to make you the best you that you can be because these heathens don't want you to do that, man. The heathen want us to continue to be like them to actually be worse than them because when you turn on the radio and, and you know what i'm saying you go to the so-called hip-hop stations or even the r&b stations man because r&b is, is is foul too that you know that music is is mind control man it's destroying our people it's been making people want to run off to the the uh to the heathens man look at prince you know rick james brothers like them man then you got you know modern day we get, let the women get in control, and now all the thing they want to do is twerk, show off their body, say, you know, they 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 F in free. That's madness. Our people don't realize that we actually need to be together building up a household. They don't want to look at the at the past. Remember the days of old that, you know, they the heathen, they made it to where the men ain't in the house, man. We used to be in the crib back in the day, back in the 50s, man. 
But then, like, as time progressed more and more, about a decade, they put in more drugs. They gave the women uh, damn governmental assistance. You know, told them that, hey, I give you this, this, and this, but the man got to be out of the house. So now all the men, they in, they in prison. All the men are out selling drugs. All the men are out making whores of the daughters of Zion because they just running off, you know what I'm saying, putting their seed wherever. Not giving a damn. Being, being just completely madness and out of control. I'm going to read that again. Deuteronomy 32 and 28. For they are a nation, a nation void of counsel. Neither is there any understanding in them. So they don't understand. They, they minds are just gone. They destroy Reverencing that book of Hosea 4 and 6 again. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So, so you got brothers out here trying to tell you, but you like, nope, nope, ain't trying to hear it. Ain't trying to hear it. I don't want to hear that. There you go reading that damn Bible again. But this Bible is instructions, man. Basic instructions before leaving the earth. Basic, man. Simple. Teach us how to love one another. Teach us how to raise up our children. Teach us the foods that we should be eating. Teach us a dress code. Teaching us some damn morals. Something our people have no idea about, man. Book of Isaiah. Chapter 40 and 3. Verse 11. <laughs> 3. Book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. It's like it. All over the place. This word make you compassionate, man. Because like just seeing our people on a daily basis is like it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. The Lord gave us over gate. Hey, well, I ain't gonna say us, but you know, us as a nation, as a people, gave us over to our vile affections because we wanted to be like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It, even the the it, when you start reading the Torah, you know, start reading Kings and and uh, Samuel's and Chronicles and stuff. Man, our people they steady wanted to have a king above them, even though our king is the Mashiach Kwamalaki Hawashai, man, who the world so ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Like, we already have a king. We have a head. But yet, our people steady wanting to have somebody in the flesh that's over them. And it's madness and it's folly. Book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. The ox and the donkey are two of the dumbest animals. But yet, they still have a sense of what's going on. They still know where they're supposed to go. Said, the ox knoweth his owner. He know who, who is his head, who is his shepherd. It said, in the ass is master's crib. He already know where he's supposed to go. If he go roaming, he still know how to get back to the crib. The same way like now, you know what I'm saying, when you got a dog, dog may jump over the fence. You know, he may creep out of the little gate area. He may dig a hole, climb up under it. But then he still know where the crib at. He might run up the block for a minute and go do something, but he still know where to return to. We ran off the block, man. We hopped the fence. We out the yard. But instead of being like, oh, we know where to go back, we just steady roaming the earth. We just steady running through the city, just running rapid, looking for whatever wickedness and folly we can find. And you see something, you oh, that's a peas and let me run over there. And you get distracted. And we just lost, man. It said, and the ass is master's crib, but Israel doeth not know. My people do not consider and our people are simple now, man. They think that Israel is just a damn landmass. It, it just became a state in 1948. But you mean to tell me that 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 Israel is not a people? That's that's not what the scriptures say. That's not what's right here highlighted, man. We got to read. We have to read in these last days, man. Said, so, but you know, Christians may watch this video and not understand. What's going on there? Oh, you just reading Old Testament. All right, then. Bet. We just reading Old Testament. I mean, we just reading Old Testament. Let's hit up the New Testament then. See what's changed. Because the book of Malachi said the Lord don't change, man. Malachi 3 and 6. You know, I'm just paraphrasing on that. Go read it for yourself. Book of Mark chapter 9 and verse 50. Salt is good. But if the salt has lost his, his saltness, wherewith will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace one with another. I said, so the Lord is looking at us as the salt of the earth, man. Because we already know we got all the flavor. We the best dancers. We the best cooks. You know, we the best athletes. We the best actors. You know what I'm saying? No, nobody else on the earth looks like our people, man. Everybody wants to want to be with Eve, man. 
everybody want them a sister. All the heathen, the women, they want them a, a, a Jake, man. Why you think in slavery they were sitting there doing all the bug breaking, breaking down the families? You know what I'm saying? Because they, they took the man and they made him look, you know, weak and effeminate in front of his whole family, embarrass him. You know what I'm saying? Now they, he looked like he ain't in control. And that's why people still doing to this day, except now we're doing it willingly. They ain't got to force us to do nothing no more. That's madness, man. <laughs> Go to uh, 1 Corinthians. Get a little bit of that, a uh, little bit more of that, of that New Testament. Since everybody love running to Paul so much. Not knowing what Paul actually got going on in this thing. <laughs> oh, man. 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of Yahweh. I speak this to your shame. So it's shameful to not know the Lord, man. It's shameful that we spent all these years, generation after generation, man. Big mama going to church. You know what I'm saying? Your mama then went to church. That you know what I'm saying, you do your so-called Bible studies, Sunday school, you know, they got you in church every day, <laughs> every day of the week, man. You got choir rehearsal, you got the uh the men's group, you got the women's group, you got the children, you got the choir rehearsals, you it's all madness. They had you in there every day for nothing. They didn't teach you anything because we don't resort back to the laws, man. The laws, statutes, and commandments, the basics of the Bible, man. Because they try to jump in thinking that they know what Paul's talking about, not even, you know, seeing the rest. You, I say this reference all the time. You cannot jump into a show, it's on season six, and you're like, oh, yeah, I, I know what's going on. No, man, you ain't watched seasons one through five. It's 20 episodes. They're an hour each in, in every season up until now, and you think you know what you got going on. No, man, you got to read it, man. Read it in context and get understanding. Start there from the top again. Be not deceived. It says, so the Lord knew that you was going to wander off with your with the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Your wicked thoughts. Everybody be like, God knows my heart, man. The heart is desperately wicked, man. It said, be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. I said, so when you actually get in these communications through everybody else, because you're watching TV, you're listening to, to what everybody else got going on, you're listening to the gossip, because that's breaking the law, you know? doing all that gossiping, running your mouth about other people's business. I'm like, you, you see what's on TV, you listening to their situations, you watching them, you want to envy the oppressor, even though he told you, in the, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So all those communications corrupt good manners because we all have a, a basic moral concept from when we were children on what we should do. You know, your parents told you, hey, don't do this, don't do that. You know, like everything was built for your good. It wasn't to destroy you. But instead, you know, we want to go off and act like that. That just don't make any sense. It's madness, man. You're not making any sense as a so-called adult now. It said, awake to righteousness and sin not. Awake to righteousness and sin not. What's righteousness? What's righteousness? What is sin? But they don't know the answers because they just be like, oh, well, sin is doing something bad. Well, if I'm just walking around just hitting people in the shoulder every time I see them, you know, as a greeting, that, that's a bad thing. Every time you hit somebody in the shoulder, they're going to start getting annoyed, man. Every time he come around, man, damn, punching me. He hurt my shoulder. I, I got to use my shoulder. We moving heavy boxes and equipment every day. But, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's not sin. The Bible tell you what sin is, is transgressing the law. Who is the laws given to? Israel. And God didn't do away with his people, man. But y'all y'all don't understand that part. Because y'all don't y'all don't want to do what the Lord told y'all to do. Acting like we just coming up with, with this stuff out of nowhere. Like we don't we like we don't have proof. Like we don't read and get an understanding. Book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. And we forgot our resting place, man. The land that the Lord was giving us that was filled with milk and honey. We completely forgot that. 
because we wanted to be lost sheep, man. We didn't want to be led by our shepherd, Hamashiach Yehawashai, who the world so innocently calls Jesus Christ. We didn't want to, so like it. We didn't want to, you know, obey the law, statutes, and commandments like all of our forefathers told us to do. Like all the prophets was out there prophesying on a daily basis. Through all these books that they actually wrote out for us to get understanding. We wanted to go away from that, man. And that's just wild. So we're going to go over to Luke 19 and 10. For the Son of Man, the Son of Man being Christ, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. So I'm going to start at 9. And Yahweh said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house for so much as he also is the son of Abraham. So we all know that, that the lineage of the Israelites came from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So don't get simple and think that, no, it just stopped at Abraham right there, so then everybody get the blessing. Uh, you got to keep reading, and it'll clear it up. It's in red letter, man. This is a Mashiach speaking. This ain't nobody else. You can't get it misconstrued. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. So, so we already know who the lost is, man. The lost is Israelites, the ones who have lost their name, their nationality, their dress code, everything about them, man. The book of John, chapter 10 and verse 14. I am the good shepherd. This is Christ talking. And know my sheep and am known of mine. He says, so he know us and we know him, man. As the father knoweth me, even so know I the father. Says, so if we know the Hamashiach, then we automatically know who the Most High is because he is the spitting image of the Most High, man. He is the word that was manifested. And I laid down my life for the sheep. So, so that was the whole point of Christ being here. He wasn't here to, to just have a job, you know, clocking in and out every day. He wasn't meant to just, you know, hit up restaurants and, and travel the world, you know, go over to Greece and, and hit up France. And I want to see the Eiffel Tower. You know, coming to St. Louis and, oh, th there's the arch. And you go up to New York and, oh, man, the Statue of Liberty. Man, that wasn't what he was here for. He didn't care about nothing that was here. He already knew everything about this place. All the secrets of the deep, man. Like every everything that the, the great King Solomon knew, say Christ knew, man. He was the one that the Most High sent down to actually make everything, man. It's madness. And it's actually simple. Verse 16, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. So he's not actually talking about physical sheep, you know what I'm saying? Not the lamb that we're doing on Passover, you know what I'm saying? He's going up to, uh, to uh, what do you call that place, to, uh, up to the zoo, you know what I'm saying? And going go, go, go get some animals, man, and just sitting there walking them around like, yeah, these are my sheep. I'm their shepherd. You know, I, I got a staff. That's not what he's talking about, man. He's talking about his people, the northern and southern kingdom, and he was here to bring everybody back together and make them one fold again, make them one nation, not make them divided as a people, man. We've been divided since the book of Kings. It's been a long time since our people have been together on one accord, but northern kingdom started going off, and then Judah wanted to be like they damn treacherous sister, man. You got to get in this thing, man. I said, that's why the book of Luke was talking about how the son of man coming back to save that which was lost, man. Say, but go over to get, go to Proverbs. We're going to get some, uh, some understanding, man. Get some wisdom in this thing. Because we don't want to just speak from our own bellies, man. Book of Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. And that's our people, man. They prideful and everything they got going on. Every wicked thing that, that they possess from the heathen, you know, they prideful about it. They think that, you know, they, they do these Grammys and stuff, you know, they win these awards and they be like, I want to thank God. And Man, he getting, he not going to reward you for being wicked. That doesn't make any sense, man. So the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, man. 
pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. So you think you can't thank God, man, because you made music about killing your brothers. You can't thank God because you made music about them whoring out your sisters, man, about popping random women. You can't thank God because you down here popping men, men popping men, man. Madness. That's folly. You can't tell me that ain't evil. There is no reproduction in that, man. How is that not evil? Spare your feelings, man. And we don't deal with feelings, man. We deal with the word. We deal with thus saith Yahweh by Hashem and Mashiach Kwam like Yahweh Shai, man. Anything else is falsehood, man. It's vanity. The book of uh, Sirach. Get a little bit more wisdom right quick. Do a couple, couple more and then we're going to wrap it up. Book of Sirach, chapter 7 and verse 23. Hast thou children? Instruct them and bow down their neck from their youth. So you can't have children if you being wicked, man. That if you uh if you out here not being not being fruitful, not trying to multiply, and you just want to deal with the same sex, man. That's madness. How you gonna have children then? Or you gonna run to Esau in their white coats, man? That's, that's putting a damn turkey base up you. Guess what? You still had to get that from a man. So why skip the middle part when you can just do what the Most High told you to do? It's madness, man. It said, instruct them, bow down their neck from their youth. Hast thou daughters, have a care for their body. It says, so if women actually taught their sisters to care for their body, they wouldn't be out here half naked doing damn twerking movies on Netflix. Everybody in the damn hoorah about it. Y'all made this. Y'all supporting it. It wouldn't be a supply if it wasn't if it wasn't in demand. It wouldn't be a supply of madness and folly if it wasn't in demand. But it was our minds to go astray, man. It's madness. Say, have a care for their body and show not thyself cheerful toward them. I said, now people are cheerful about it. Said the Lord told us, don't go ink up our bodies, man. What happened? You got Wiz Khalifa make a song, eat my whole body. I don't give a MF. That's madness. Like you got, uh, you know, all the the big name celebrities. Everybody go shave off their head, man. Everybody like uh, what's the dude name? Tay Diggs. You know, Michael Jordan. You know, like Charles Barkley. Shaq. Man, everybody then did it, man. The Lord told us don't do these things, man. And this is what our people are wrapped up in this is what they love to do consume madness they don't love their bodies man marry thy daughter and so shall thou perform a weighty matter but give her to a man of understanding i said so you just telling your children to all oh, practice safe sex remember being in elementary school they was giving us damn sex classes elementary school man we're children the last thing we need to be thinking about is that and then now you got the plan, uh, Planned Parenthoods and, and all the and all the ghettos, man. They teaching you to hurt, just use condoms. But man, it, the where in the scriptures do it say use a condom? Where does it say in the scriptures? Yeah, give me a precept to say something about safe sex. That's madness. You know how you have safe sex? You find that one, man. You court that one person. You make sure that that one person is going to be worthwhile spending the rest of your life with, man. Because every time that you out here just popping anybody, you getting all these wicked spirits. You know what I'm saying? You wearing your own body out. You demoralizing yourself, man. Ain't it humiliating? You can't tell me that that, that every person who wasn't involved in the, in the wickedness of the flesh you know, bef before this truth, that they didn't have somebody that they regret. They'd be like, man, I, I shouldn't have did that. Whether it's one, whether it's 20, whether it's 50, whether it's 100. Man, it, it's people on TikTok, OnlyFans and stuff, man, be talking about they got hundreds of bodies, man. Hundreds. That's wicked, man. Our people don't care about their bodies. You got the, the video of... Uh, I, I'm going to I'm gonna try to clip it at the end of the video, man, so y'all can see what I'm talking about. It was a pastor that was sitting there talking about he want to grow weed inside the church so he can attract so-called black men because he know that we the main consumers of that. 
talk about he can teach them farming. They, they crafty, man. They make they give you these little stupid buzzwords, man, to make it seem like, oh yeah, I can teach them something. This like, no, only thing you teach them is to go farther and farther away from the word, man. The Lord didn't tell us to to smoke weed, man. Lord didn't tell us to to see how fried you can get. Let's see how big of a pack you can you can smoke in a day. That's wicked, man. That's folly. That's madness, man. Our people do not care about their bodies. They don't care about their temples, man. They don't care about their spirit. Only thing they want to do is live it up and be prideful in this so-called world, man. But this kingdom is coming down. Yeah, how should I say to Mark? Was that when he come back, he said, you see all these great buildings, man? It's like it's, it won't be one stone left upon another, paraphrasing. Everything you see is going to be demolished, man. You got to come. You got to be sober minded. You got to think clearly, man. Dwell on the law, statutes, and commandments. Dwell on these precepts, man. Meditate on them, man. Get closer to the Lord in these last days. Seek him while he may be found. Book, uh, Book of Sirach 7 and 26. Thou hast a wife after thy mind. Forsake her not, but give not thyself over to a light woman. I said, and you can look at that in two ways. You can look at that in the flesh of being like, you know, don't get caught up lusting in women, marveling after the beauty of every woman that walk, that walk to and fro. I said, the same way we also, you know, we got a husbandry to the most high, man. So when it's talking about, you know, when it, when they say that thou has a wife after thy mind, the, the most high is after our thoughts. He's after our spirits, man. He want us to be closer to him. He don't want us to be going off. That's why he got the prophets on the corners in every major city nowadays. That's why he got the celebrities bringing it out. You know, they, they throw in subliminal messages everywhere, man. Everywhere you go. It's brothers outside the Barclays Center. People just want to go see a basketball game, but they got to come out and see brothers fringed up bringing it out. Say, so, man, the Lord is, is spreading his word like wildfire because his people are lost, man. His people are destroyed, man. Bring another book in Sirach right quick. I got two more and I'm going to wrap it up. Because it is is honestly dreadful watching our people in this lowest state every day, man. Y'all look at us like we crazy, but you just don't know how it feel to be on this side. And got to look at our people, man. We got to let the dead bury the dead. And it's... it's it's a lot to deal with, man. Said much wisdom cometh much sorrow, man. As well, the more you learn, the, the harder it is to have to deal with our people, man. Book of Sirach, chapter 22, verse 3. An evil nurtured son is the dishonor of a father that begat him, and a foolish daughter is born to his loss. So, so man, it... Even though you can have a whole bunch of children, man, if they're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, then your name was in vain, man. You have all these children, but if none of them were trained up in the right way, then you ain't got no name to leave behind, man. What is the inheritance you leaving behind? Just nonsense. Nothing no good that's going to prosper our people, man. Verse 4, a wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her husband, but she that liveth dishonest this this uh, salakia but she that liveth dishonestly is her father's heaviness so that's heavy of heart man to know that your your daughter is just wicked and just out here running from man to man does you know drinking like a fish man that's out here in the clubs every weekend showing off her body you know what I'm saying going out here getting surgeries because she feel ain't like, feel like she ain't beautiful enough that's heavy of heart man to sit there and look, be like, damn, this is what I raised. And he said, given that inheritance, man, we got to. That's why if you're looking at these laws, statutes and commandments, you know, that if you ain't got no son, you know, then that inheritance would go to the daughter. The daughter got to go find a righteous man so she can, you know, give him that lot. Because, you know, not everybody is actually is actually prosperous and, you know, have all have all the things that they need. So if you got the sister that's coming with everything, then guess what? Y'all put two and two together, then y'all can make a whole, you know what I'm saying, royal nation out there, man. Build up a, a royal family, man, a righteousness, somebody to look up to, man. Because then when the kids go off to, to you know, to go go to school, to go learning, you know what I'm saying, they can be a light unto the, the, 
the Gentiles, man, the Israelites who were not actually in the state of mind of knowing that they Israel and knowing the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, each one teach one, man. Verse 5. She that is bold dishonoreth both her father and her husband, and they both shall despise her. It says, so if, you know, we already know how Eve act, man. You can't tell Eve nothing in these last days. I'm like, and when a, a sister act like that, she got a husband, man. The, the husband is just sitting at home, just shaking his head. He going through it. And the father feel the same way. All three men in her life, her father, her husband, and her Abba, the heavenly father, Yahweh. Man, everybody is just looking like, this, this is sad, man. They're like, I said that this is a, a chosen royal priesthood, and this is how people want to act. See, our women love being loud and clamorous, want to buck up against the men in the in these last days. Then they say, you know, they be hypocrites and they say that the men don't lead, but when the man try to lead, then a woman want to just step on toes. How is that productive, man? That that's that's weak minded. I'm gonna close up after this one. Book of Ezekiel chapter eleven and verse twenty one. But as for them whose heart walketh after the heart of their detestable things. And their abominations, I will recompense their way upon their own heads, saith the Lord. I said, so everything that you into, man, the Lord going to give you tenfold. He going to give you that, that back. Because what you think is actually good for you is leading you astray. So like, and because you want to go off to those vile affections, so the Lord going to destroy you in these last days. He going to give you everything you want here because he going to make you think you prosperous. And you know that a rich man can't even get into the kingdom. If a rich man, you know, he, Christ told him, he said, a rich man, you should sell everything you have, man, and give to the poor. Because them alms can actually get you salvation, man. But alms ain't even just always the physical. Alms is praying for a brother, being there, supporting one another, uplifting each other, man. That's alms. The brothers need you in this spiritual warfare that we got going on, man. Because we, we got to stop living after the flesh. It's time to stop being that lost generation, man. It's time to grow up, as the world like to call it. It's time to man up. Show thyself a man. Start keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. Leading your household, man. Having control over your own mind, your own spirit, and your own flesh, man. But with that, I hope this video was edifying. Uh, I give all praises to glory. I mean, all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem Mashiach, Kwamalak Yahweh Shai. And with that, Shalom. I'm looking for people that smell like weeds. <laughs> no, 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 really. It is. <laughs> New Birth is the largest land-owning black church in America. Wow. And so my position to my deacons is why aren't we not raising cannabis? I'll be able to bring in black males. They're able to do it legally. Mm. I'm teaching them farming. Oh, my God. I'm helping them to enhance the ecosystem. Uh, th th this is the kind of conversation. So if the guy, black boy in Bankhead said, they grown weed at the church? Where do I join? Yes. I don't need no pamphlet for him. I got five.